A reading from the New Testament, the New Testament as uh, translated from the uh, King James Version to the uh, Color Bible. This is the Color Bible. And as usual, what we do is just uh, find a spot and we find a, a derivative uh, of, uh, of three. So let's just do, let's do the nine. Uh, nine right here. Hebrews 1, page uh, 748. Not, of course, I can't see what I'm not doing. Page, uh, like I said, page uh, 748 in the color Bible. This is Hebrews 9. You love what right and ye hate what ain't right. Do you die while weak God ye God? Pick ye and ain't and and ain't ye while the old boy old boy joy the honor ya mo de all them way them while they while ye The uh, English, old English, you know, model English translation. Thou hast loved righteous and hated inequity. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness and above thy fellows. Oh, reason people above, huh? Ye love the right and ye hate what ain't right. They, they were, that were we, me God, ye God, pick ye and ain't ye with the oil of joy, the honor ye more the all them, weigh them with ya. Wow. I got to do it, do it again. Uh, the, the, the translation I'm reading is, uh, Thou hast loved righteousness and hated inequity. Therefore, God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness and above thy fellows. Ye love what right, and ye hate what ain't right. Thou were weak God, there were meek God, ye God, pick ye and Nate ye with the oil of joy, the honor ye more de all them with the with they uh, with ye. There you go. Oh, it's a Sunday morning. I guess it's appropriate. As you may or may not know, should I go through this? Um, I read from the uh, the New Testament every morning from the Gullah tradition. Uh, at least on the maternal side, I'm Gullah. And so what I want to do is experience what it was like at, after slavery, what it was like when uh, they're trying to read uh, from a, a Bible they know nothing about. You know, I'm talking about the, in the King James Version. And so I just want to feel what that, go through that process. So I'm reading every morning, and sooner or later, perhaps I'll get the Gullah culture. Maybe I won't. And uh, just a Sunday, let me just say, maybe I should do every Sunday. No, maybe not. I don't know. Um, the, 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 where I'm sitting... It's a little corner in my room. Uh, as you can see, there's some cat. Looks like it got a scholarship thing on there. That's when I do my reading. Well, like that. And I have the uh, black American flag right there. See that? That's a black American. I call it the black well. Red, black, and green. Uh, it's interesting, red, black, and green, because um, in the uh, Yoruba culture, when the uh, strain, the Yoruba strain that came up through Brazil, it went through uh, Condon Blay up in Brazil. What am I going to say? Hey, uh, um, uh, uh, Condomble, and then uh, so it says Nigeria, then Condomble in Brazil, and then up in New York, up in uh, the North America, there's another 
Uh, there's another strain that went up to North America to talk about the European religion. Like I said, Brazil changed the common play. Um, but interestingly enough, in the Yoruba culture, I, I'm, 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 a, I'm a child of Ogun. It's an Arisha. Arisha is like a selective head. It's like aspects of, call it aspects of, of God, if you will. Uh, but Arisha's colors, well, at least the color for Ogun, which I'm a child of Ogun, um, and, and, and Nigeria is one color, and, and, um, and Condomble in Brazil is another color. But when it comes to North America, the, the ch color changes. Interestingly enough, it's a, a black, green, with a little bit of red. So this is actually my Ogun hat that I wear every time. See, so this is black side, and you have the green side, and this a little bit of red. So everybody thinks it's one thing, but really is uh, it's it's a selective. Well, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't. I don't want to anticipate. Anyway, it's my Ogun hat. So I read from my Ogun hat, West African religion. I'm reading from the a religion that has African roots, clear African roots, uh, like that. And oh, when I sit on the chair, I should say that the chair I sit on here to show you, um, uh, on my uh, over my right shoulder would be my would be my nephew, my grand nephew. Uh, he's got his power salute. Okay. He was very young when he took that picture. Uh, this is that's my normal radio flag. Normal radio is me, uh, and this is just a a, a, a Zulu. It was gifted to me a Zulu uh, cat, fiercely Zulu cat. He uh, he gifted it to me uh, in South Africa. So it's like Africa has my back. That's what it symbolizes to me. And, and that's it. Oh, and uh, this is a kente cloth from uh, also, I guess, more Southwest Africa. And uh, and I just use it like the, like, you know, like, because, you know, like uh, in, in, the, in the Catholic, yeah, the Catholic or the religion, you say they always put the things, the the the, 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 the whatever it is. So I use it for that. And then Catholic religion, it, 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 interestingly enough, um, uh, you know how when, when the, at least, when the African religions came over to America through through, uh, through the slave trade or whatever have you through the captivity, then they sort of some of them blended and stuff like that. But interestingly enough, my 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 name Anthony means like like Saint Anthony. I was, actually I was baptized at Saint Anthony at Padua Church in, uh, in in the Bronx, and I actually visited Padua in, in uh, um, what do you call? It? I visited Padua in, in Italy where Saint Anthony, even though he's from Port, Portugal, he's got he got this like you know. He a talker. Well, he wasn't. A talk I guess he was a talker. He just talked to the animals. He was like he's the guy that first started um, uh, that the monk, you know, the priest as monks. I see that monk. The, the the priests, the 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 solitary priests. I guess you call them monks. Um, you know, at least for the Christians. And uh, and so you know, so he's like so. Interestingly enough, no matter how I and like I said, let me go back for Ogun. Ogun is the same thing. He's like solitary in a cave. You know, he, he you don't call Ogun unless you got stuff happening you know so he's like a solitary and i'm born in the year of tiger metal tiger so i'm um, sure so like a solitary animal so it all works out Duh! you'll take care it's little um, uh, messages from me t from the pattersons taking the train to tibet letting you know what i only suspect